What is going on guys, this is Ben here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. This one I think you guys will enjoy. I am full boosted once again of my all offensive statues. And uh, yeah, we're using the Grenadiers. Now, in the past you guys maybe heard me like ragging on the Grenadiers, although they're like the worst troop in the game, which I still think they are. Um, but I don't hate them as much because they do have some use in operations. So, but in today's video, we're not going to be worrying about operations. We're literally going to be just doing all Grenadier attacks. So, make sure you have a like for the full boost, guys, because it is a ton of Power Potter gone right there. Um, I do have a lot in reserve to these fragments, for sure. Um, but it takes, a, it takes a toll there. So, hopefully I get back um, with, like, the Power Stone chance and everything like that. But, yeah. I don't know, we're gonna be seeing how this goes. Now this may not be the most effective attack strategy, I get that, but it's it's something cool to watch to see all these grenadiers full boosted, going ham on some player bases. I have some lower level players on my map, um, so this this may be effective for us, it may work out and ow. <laughs> this elbowed my hit my funny bone right here, but we're in the Modern Warfare 3 t-shirt. Um, actually Modern Warfare 2 is probably one of my favorite Call of Duties and Black Ops 1. I don't really like any of the newer ones, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> Black Ops 3 isn't that bad, but I don't really play Call of Duty anymore. And this is not a Call of Duty channel, so let's get into the attacks here. Alright, <laughs> right, Grenadiers. Show me what you got. Alright. Boom. Dropping them all. Uh, the shock launchers are going to be need to get taken care of. That is a must. The rockets are too. Uh, we have a ton of GBE just to take out literally all of them, so this is good. And the Grenadiers already worked, did, did work down there, okay. We're going to want to keep them to one side, uh, simply because we don't want them to spread out. And this guy's base is like perfect for Grenadiers. It's kind of spread out, well not really, because you, want, you like bases that are clustered, actually. Um, but it's pretty good for me because... A lot of the, a lot of the stuff that's out like out of range of grenadiers is really easy for me to get at, and I'm just gonna throw them the medkits right now, keep them alive a little bit. There is the boom mine there? I'm gonna try and avoid that. A reflaring and say and get up right here. Take out the shock launcher, and I still have a ton of GBE left, so let's help them out a little bit. There we go. Drop in this barrage up in here. There is a shock blaster. I didn't even notice that. Oh, uh, how do I want to go about this? Because the Grenadiers' range is trash, but they're damn—they're actually destroying these really quickly. Because of oh my god, look at the GB we're acqu like acquiring from that. And we're gonna do—we're just gonna say go up here. We're gonna flare close, shock the shock blaster, and hopefully they take it out. Because we still have a ton of GBE. And then they hopefully don't kill each other on the HQ. <laughs> they still can't even hit it. There we go. Now let's see if our Grenadiers die from each other. Nope. They do not. And then we'll help them out with the artillery shots there. So Marcus just gets destroyed by full boosted Grenadiers. And we'll take it. Um, he doesn't really have any ice though. So, well he does, but they're green statues. And we lost 20 Grenadiers there in that that attack, but that's okay. Hey, we got the victory. I'm trying to get enough uh, resources to upgrade this mortar right here. You guys wanted me to upgrade the mortars. So that's what we're gonna do. I have some of these. You can see my map is super, super full. Let's move up to level 50, 57. Salim, here we go. Um, hmm. He does have some ice. This one might not be as easy as the last player, but I'm actually gonna shock these three, that like that stuff right in there. So we'll need to take out these two. Maybe this rocket. Where's his, oh. where's the other, oh, never mind. I was like, where's his other shock? People don't have three shock launchers, Ben. Uh, and we're going to take out this boom cannon as well. Because we, we have the GBE for it, so why not? And then there we go. I'm gonna drop the critters first just to distract the sniper towers, hopefully get our footing in there. And then I'm gonna shock these rockets and the uh, the shock launcher and the doom cannon. And then I'm actually going to drop some more critters just to keep them distract. Throw on another shock there. Alright, now we have like a little bit of footing where the grenadiers can go without getting 
absolutely destroyed by everything. We have 69, oh, 61 now. The GB is always fluctuating. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't try and always count it. And then we're going to go up in here, keep all of that stuff shocked. We're maneuvering around the base fairly well. Um, we're kind of just picking our battles and destroying things at an alarming rate. Because of the full boost, we have a lot of GBE, a lot of damage. And these Grenadiers are actually pretty tanky. They have quite a bit of health. So this is good for us. I'll drop down some more critters just because we can. Um, I'm being a lot less technical this attack. <laughs> because uh, this one was... like You can see the difference. This space was actually grouped up pretty much... A little bit easier than the last one. The grenades are still going ham. Just look at them. I just love how like I just love the grenades, dude. And then every time I think of grenadiers or hear the grenadier word, there's two things that I think of. One is just I think of like a deer. I don't know why, because that's how you. And then, well, actually, I think of three things. I think of a deer, then I think of Jamie from MythBusters, and then I think of the commercial where the grenadiers are like, nailed it. <laughs> oh, dude. Alright, you guys saw in my last video where it was when I was using the the all heavies and I got a crystal. This is literally the second crystal. I think it's because I'm boosting the the power stone chance for sure. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm I'm like blown away by two, getting two crystals and like a five attacks. Oh my goodness. We're on a roll. We got Ant Man up in here. We <laughs> Ant I'm Ant Patrol man. We're looking to do <laughs> Okay, that was that was really lame. If you guys didn't hear the joke, I'll re-say it because I was kind of laughing. His name's Ant-Man, and I'm Ant Patrol. We're about to exterminate some ants here. Oh my gosh, dude. That, that, what I just said is literally just like super lame. Uh, well, it's it's late at night here. Um, it's it's whatever. Some people think that I, when I record my videos, that I'm under the influence of alcohol. Or I'm drunk or anything like that. <laughs> no, it's just me being probably overtired and needing sleep. Um, yeah, but I, honestly, I love recording videos when I'm uh, cause like late at night because usually I can't fall asleep easily and I need like something to clear my mind and that's what I make these videos for. It helps out. Well, not really just for that. <laughs> that's part of the reason. There's multiple reasons. Um, but like it helps me when I record late at night because it like clears my clears, clears my brain because I talk about whatever's on my mind usually in the videos and then it tires me out. I don't, I don't know why, but it does because after I'm recording I'm like oh, time for bed and then I can fall asleep easily like a little little baby. So thank you guys for watching my videos and helping me fall asleep late at night. Helping me is it? I don't even know what it's called when you can't fall asleep at night. Is it insomnia? No, that sounds like an event that. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have a lot of GBE left. That sounds like an event. I think that is an event that um that goes on in like Europe or something. Or I don't even know. It's like a gaming event or something. It's where you can't fall asleep at night. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have that because I for the for like the longest time I like just struggle being able to sleep at night. And this this video just turned for the worse. I don't know what the hell we're talking about now. Back to the Grenadiers. We're taking down the base. And these critters are going ham. We literally destroyed everything. We just exterminated all the ants. And grenadiers for the win, man. That's literally, that's literally just how it goes. My phone just turned on. Interesting. I had it plugged in for a while. Whoops. Sorry for clicking there. I, I hate when you plug in your phone on iTunes and it, it comes up like with 20 different pop-up messages. You don't have to say, no, I don't want to sign in. No, I don't want to sign in. It's like iCloud. Your i your verify your Apple iTunes I, or ID or something, and then something else. You're like, no, 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 no. Every time, that's what happens to me. So we're gonna do one more attack with the Grenadiers here, and I want it to be a pretty difficult attack uh, because we're just been we've been just trolling these uh, lower level people on my. Well, I actually don't have too many higher level players on my map at this point, except for Kurt. We got Kurt up in here, Curdy boy. You're you're gonna gonna feel the wrath of these grens man oh this is actually a good portion to shock right there get all four of those key defensive buildings that's what I look for if, if things are stacked that close together I don't really take them out with GB anymore I just I just I just rely on my shocks to get like to slow them down when my troops actually do end up getting there it's worth it I think 
7 GBE to shock all those, and then your troops will eventually take them out, and then using the actual GBE to take it out. Um, but we're going to barrage away these boom cannons, because they actually do hurt the grenadiers quite a bit. That is, uh, that is not a myth. That is confirmed. If any of you get that reference, you are, you are a very cool person. Because <laughs> that myth is busted. Dude, I'm on a roll right now, aren't I? Um, hmm. Well, let's keep those three, four buildings shocked. Take out this boom cannon. Man, I'm not gonna lie, Max or full boosted max grenadiers are actually pretty good. This guy's level 62. He doesn't have ice though, so that could play a huge role into it. Um, but pretty much anything's. Let's be honest here. Pretty much any troop combination you use is fairly decent full boosted. So that could be the reason why. Maybe this isn't a real legit attack strategy um, on its own. I'm sure someone out there actually does use all grenadiers for attacks. If you are one of those people, let us know in the comment section. I commend you. How do you put up with these fools? They're drunk. They're falling over when they toss these things, dude. I don't know. Um, but hey, we're, we're wrecking these bases. And I think that's dominantly because of my gumboat right now. My gumboat energy that I have. That I'm able to take out these these monstrous boom cannons and shock launchers and everything. Did we get another crystal? Oh, we got a prototype module. We'll take it. So, there you guys have it. Can I upgrade this? We can upgrade our mortar, there we go. Um, what is my prototype module situation looking at? Need these complex gears. Everything else is okay. All the fuel capacitors too. Um, power powder. Can I make any shards? Can make this shard, there we go. And then I'm close to, wow, misclicking here. And then I'm close to masterpiece, 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 okay, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, full boosted grunts, dude. They're they're good in operations. They're decent in attacks when they're full boosted. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. Not ready. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. You can tell I'm tired, right? Right. Oh, <laughs> either way, we just have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys later.